Sì. Are you looking to become a website designer and developer on Wix? Like a Wix website designer and developer, a person who works making Wix websites. Well, I'm gonna be teaching you today how you can build your own, build your own, um, how you can, I'm gonna be training you today. I'm gonna be teaching you how to become a website designer, a Wix website designer or developer. Okay, so. So I'm gonna be teaching you a little bit about Wix. So which platform So I think this video will be um of teaching you about Wix so that you can become a Wix website designer or developer. Okay. So here Wix is a is a company like a platform where you can build websites. But Wix has another platform too that is part of Wix that is called Editor X. So I'm gonna teach you a little bit about Editor X at the end of this video. Now, right now we're gonna do a little bit of the, the original thing, the thing Wix thing, yeah, the Wix Wix. And I'm just gonna go here to start from a scratch to do, just to do a, the, a little playground there, a little thing there, a little playground website. Just to play there, you just to teach you a teaching website or whatever. Just to teach you, yeah. So, if you go here to add, You can add a strips that are all those things. You can edit the strip, there are the strips too. So, like for example, I'm gonna get this strip here. And instead of putting here about us, you can put here about me. If you are the only one working in this project about us, about me, you can edit the description here, that thing there. Hello, my name is Francisco. I work at Egg Web Tool. Egg Web Tool is a YouTube channel of tutorials of how to make websites and yes we see yeah you can change it there and okay so um here you can add a text here that can be any of those texts and in that text you can do almost whatever you want Okay, so I'm just gonna add here text. If even if you have a database or something, I mean, you're a non-developer, I mean, yeah, non-developer mode and like, yeah, you can, even if you have, a, and in developer mode, you can do a database, but we're gonna get into that a little later, later, yeah, we're gonna get later into databases. So here he is gonna put hello. 
and that you can connect it to that if you want if you have a database you can put it like that you can put it like that you can underline it you can even underline it and maybe I'm gonna do second part of this video and um, here on the editing you can add images my image of load and you can add whatever whatever you want here like this there and you added that see how easy and you can add here some buttons like that some buttons there like if you're doing a form or whatever like a submit button and then that do a little bit of coding with Wix code, yeah. So that it can work like a submit button or whatever here. You can add a gallery. A gallery here. You can add a gallery. And here you can add images to the gallery. You can add a decorative thing. Like all of those things there more icons here you can add some icons there like um yeah you can add any icons here i'm just gonna add here, like a message icon or a plus plus icon and just add it here at the page and you can do here the design you can put it a little bit more like that and you can change the color and here on interactive you can add a slideshow like this one just wait until it loads there whatever yeah like that there and I'm just gonna put here like hello hello and you can add here whatever you want. Hello, como we are the um, egg web tool community. And we are working hard to grow our YouTube channel, right? And you can add more slides there. And you can add some boxes like shows that are almost like the same here. Add some light boxes too. Yeah, add some light boxes. And then here you can add some boxes there too. Like for example, this box here. And Wix has so many things and I am an expert with Wix. Even me that I'm an expert with Wix, there are some things that I don't know Wix can do. Even you can put me in the comments some things that you know that Wix can do. Yeah, and I will see if I don't know because Wix has so many things. Even the person who knows like almost everything, they still don't know everything. Wix has so many functions. Here list and grid. 
and the least and greatest thing I'm not gonna show you right now because um I don't know maybe the least and greatest thing maybe I will show you when we um when uh, oh, 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 maybe I will show you later in this video or yeah I will do a second part of this video where I will explain more in that one I will show you what lists are what repeaters what these repeaters and then these tables those things what they are because that has to be a little bit with content manager and content manager I'm gonna show you in the second part of this video in this video a music thing you can add here many videos yeah and you can even add here some music just put that like that and change the track just choose an image and upload the track and put the artist name and put the track name and you can add a menu here like a, yeah a menu there like I didn't even know that this thing called Anchor, Anchor existed I don't even know how to pronounce it yeah you see I don't know everything about Wix I'm just gonna delete it because maybe I do an error there. Wait a second, we'll go here to menu where we were. Or th this is the anchor menu. Oh yeah, but I prefer just a vertical menu or a horizontal menu or a team menu. Like for example, I'm just gonna add this one. And as you see, this one added me two pages here. Two pages that I did here as an example, right? And here you can add some social things like a Facebook like, a Facebook share, a Facebook like feed of your page. I think a Facebook page newsfeed, a Facebook page mini, a Facebook comment, Twitter follow, Twitter follow with counter, Twitter tweet, pin to Pinterest, Pinterest follow, share from Pinterest, VK share, VK share with text, line share. YouTube subscribe, Spotify follow, Spotify follow with counter. And you can add here some social bars here. Some social bars, yeah. Just add here any social bar there. And just put here the link of your Facebook. It will always say weeks, but you need to change that. Here the link of your Twitter, the link of your YouTube, the link of your Pinterest, the link of your Tumblr, and the link of your Instagram. And if you don't want one, then you can just delete it like that. Very easy. And if you want more, then you can go here to add icons. And if you even want more than that, then you can and um, just search for some icons there in Google for some social icon. Just save them into your computer and upload it here and just set it as a social icon. And here you can add here some contact and form, some forms here. Like for example, this form there. Yeah, that form there. And you can add here maps. You can even add Google map here. Like you can add that there. And it will say you like where you are. So here you go to manage location and there 
you can put your address and your title and you can put that is one or that is multiple multiple location or that is one like for example if your thing is a restaurant is one restaurant then just put one but if it is multiple restaurants like burger king or mcdonald's then put multiple And you can add a weak shed. You can add a weak shed here. Like that. Very easy. A weak shed there. You can go here to settings and just put some settings there. Just get it started. Settings, layout, design, support, and upgrade. And you can add this line share thing. There, you can change the layout to any of those. You can add an animation. You can go here to help. And here on embed, you can embed a widget there. Add the code there or add the website address there. You can embed a widget, embed a site, or embed a custom element. You can add a video player that can be a, a video upload of YouTube or of a YouTube video, of a Vimeo video, of a Facebook video, or of a daily motion video. And you can add a SoundCloud player. You can add a Spotify player. You can add an iTunes button, a get it on iTunes button here. And you just enter the iTunes link there. And you can add here many things. You can add here some inputs there. That can be this input there or whatever. But that I will show you like... Maybe in the second part, because this has to be a little bit with developer mode to the, with the content manager. And this, you can add a block to the side. Just click here, add it to side. And you can add a block or a block plus member area. And here you can add online bookings. I have never used the online bookings before, so it is my first time, but I'm gonna here show you there. You see, we have so many things. If your service one on one or for multiple participants, you just put there wherever you want. Just add a service title, add a description, add all of those things. And you can add the content manager that we will see um, in the second part how to add it. You can See here the marketing home that maybe I will show you in the second part of or maybe in the third part. And well, here if you turn on developer mode, you have this code panel here, this code thing there that I will show you how to use it in the second part. Or in another part of this video because this, we will do many videos of this, of getting started with Wix, of everything you need to know about Wix. Okay, and yeah, yeah, you have all of those things. And then you publish, you save your site. And you publish your site when you have finished it. Something that you really need to do 
um, two um, is the mobile side. That maybe I already have a video of that. You can go see it. It's called how to make a mobile website with Wix. You can go see that video where I will explain you how to um, do your site for mobile here from that there so that people have a, like a better look on their phone for the website because sometimes it's everything there, everything like put there together. So you can go see that video and please subscribe to the notification bells on so that you don't miss the second part of this video. And bye, this was all the video.